Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Mike here at Weeby Autos. Today we have a 1949 Lincoln sedan. So what is it, a Continental uh, or? Cosmopolitan. Cosmopolitan. Never seen one of these before. There are not too many around. I bet. Jeez. And not in this uh, presidential dark blue. Yeah. You expect President Eisenhower to be getting out of the car. <laughs> sure. And I put the uh, amber fog lights on, so I think the combination between the amber and the blue are very elegant. Really, I agree too. I think I bought the car because of the spotlights. Yeah, very cool. So unique. It's very Art yeah. Deco, right? It's, a, it's, you know, I don't know what it is. It's a little bit of an Art Deco, but it's, you know, some of the uh, styling cues from the headlights, the way they're uh, recessed. Yeah. It's a very interesting thing. And the back lights are recessed, too. Yeah. So it has a look all its own. It really does. To me, it's what... It's one of the only four-door cars that happens to look better than the two-door. I agree. You know? Looks really nice. Such a cool design. Yeah. What's up with the, uh, what is that, a flying bird or something on the hood yeah. there? Man, that's cool. I see what you mean about the recessed lights, too. Yeah, no, they really, there's some really nice design cues on this car. Um, you know, when it was designed, they, everything is integrated in it. Uh, like I say, I think the dark blue really adds to it. It does. Very stately. Yeah. It's so blue, it almost looks black. Yeah, it is. Well, that's what President, I remember Eisenhower sitting in the back. Of when I was oh, in, really? Yeah, not in this one, but of course, in Lincoln, you know, President uses. Wow. Well, I guess this is a... Uh, it runs very well, too. Straight eight into the hood? Yeah, I think it's a straight eight, yeah. Cool. Love those dual spotlights, too. I'm telling you, that's why I bought the car. <laughs> Right. I don't know. They just they seem to go with this car. Usually you see one, but I don't. I I, I don't, I've never very few cars I've seen with two. I agree. Very neat. Nice big wide whites. Love the split uh, rear window yeah. too. That's another designing cue that this car has. Very neat. I like how they recess the tail lights too. They did the same with the, the headlights. Cosmopolitan. Man, what a neat car. Yeah, it's pretty unique. Love the suicide doors, too. Yeah. Very cool. Oh my god, and power windows, huh? Look at that. This is when they made cars. Yeah. You can feel it when you open those doors, how solid this car is. Yeah, they're very heavy. I like how they integrated even the dome light has yeah. that really cool look, like the headlights and the tail lights, you know? Power windows, too. It's a lot for them. That was a lot of luxury in 1949. It really was. And I love the steering wheel, too. What's that made of? Berkelite? Uh, probably one of those plastic composites. Yeah, that's what they had before plastic. 33,300 miles. It's probably 133, bro. I don't know. The guy no. I bought it from said it really runs very, very well. So I don't yeah. know whether someone did it over. All I know is it runs well. Yeah, it runs well. You know, I, I don't know the history of it, but the car runs really well. Love these switches down here, too. Yeah. Really neat. Map light, lighter, wiper, fog, air, defrost, heater. I don't even know what half of them do. Yeah, lights are over here, too. Oh, overdrive. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, well, it's a three speed with overdrive. It's pretty rare. Yeah, on the column. Yeah. Very neat. And it has a push button start too, huh? Yeah. Huh. It's neat. Let's work. AM radio. Pretty cool. And the 
This is when America built cars. Very cool. Even the door panels are very neat. I think someone did them all. Yeah? I think. I'm not an expert on the interior, but I think they did. Maybe not. Hmm. This back seat is so lofty. So cool. The ashtray back here and a cigarette lighter. Yeah. <laughs> the windows are neat too, huh? Sometimes they're very temperamental, but they do work. You can hear it. They're electronic or vacuum? I, they I sound don't electronic. Know if they are. Uh, you literally just rolled that down a minute ago. Yeah, they're temperamental. That's right. Can you fire it up? Can I? Yeah. Let's check it out. Does it run on 12 volts or 6 volts? Uh, I think it's 6 volts. Hmm. This is the shifter right here, right? Yeah. So that's neutral? Uh, that's neutral, yes. Cool. Let's check out under the hood. Okay. Uh, you want me to keep it the money? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's got an inside release, huh? It's cool for the year. Man, what a cool car. And these are General Electric, too. Wow, they work. Cool. There she is. That is a V8. Yeah, yeah. It's got like 20 cars because you know. <laughs> and uh, looks like it's a six volt battery. Yeah, I know that. Man, she runs like a top, huh? It looks like you got new plugs, wires. Yeah. Whatever, I, whatever I needed to straighten out. Single bell draft carburetor. Yeah. Man, very cool. Never see what it is. Sounds so nice, too. Yeah, almost like a sewing machine. Yeah, no, it runs good. Little generator up top. This is how they did it in 49. They built cars, and that's when they knew it. Right? Yeah, heavy that's steel. when America knew how to build cars. Yeah. Can't tell them apart now. Nope. All plastic. Very Take a cool. look at that Lexi Squirrel. It's like you catch cows. Just a thick girl. Really nice chrome and stainless. Yeah, no, it's been on this pretty good. If there's anything wrong with this car, I don't know about it. Wow, very cool. Well, guys, thanks for joining us today. Again, my name is Mike from Weeby Autos. Lou, thank you so much for showing us the car. We're at 631-339-0399. Uh, I took about 200 photos today. 
check them out on our website, webeautos.com. Thanks a lot.